What is happening here today is our coastal cleanup uh, collaborative effort led by Scotiabank with several partners who have just made this so much bigger. Um, in addition to Scotiabank, we have the Rotary Club of Kingston and they have brought out the Rotaractors Interactors to help as well as Rotarians. We have the uh, Solid Waste um, Management Authority here as well, um, led by Joan Gordon Webley herself. We have the United Nations Environment Program and we also have support. We have support from the, the JDF Coast Guard. They were able to take our tele crew, you guys, out on the water so that you could see what was happening on the shoreline. So, and the University of the West Indies as well, and Protect the Environment Trust. They are into recycling. So what we have been doing here is collecting plastics in a very systematic way. We collect the everything plastic in tall plastic bags and the garbage in other bags. Um, protect the environment, trust the truck went, just went down and it's coming back and they're going to start taking up those plastic bags with just plastic and the solid waste truck is coming back to take up just the bags with garbage. So we have approximately 200 volunteers here just as we had planned. We started from as early as 6.30 and they've been just collecting garbage. The interesting thing is that they didn't have to go far. We had groups of five and they were named after endemic birds because we have a competition as to who can collect the most garbage. But they could just stand in the mangroves there and just pick up things around them. You didn't have to move anywhere because you were standing on garbage. Some of the things we've been collecting, styrofoam is the number one pollutant out here in the harbor. You just see white and even though we have cleaned up, you are still seeing white because it's, there's just so much of it. Styrofoam followed by plastic bags, a lot of plastic bags. There is a lot of plastic tubs, containers and old refrigerators, it's amazing what we have here in the garbage. So we have old shoes, old slippers, lots of little bottles with dyes we found you know, that women use in their hair, it's unbelievable. Lots of diapers, baby diapers, lots of that. And the black scandal bags, it's just unbelievable. Lots and lots of plastic out here. So we could stay here forever and I don't think we would ever be able to finish collecting. So what we're doing here today is hopefully it will bring awareness. Really shock people as to what we're doing to our environment. We need proper disposal of our garbage, responsible disposal of our garbage. And if our garbage is not being collected, we keep it and ensure all the people who are supposed to come and collect it but never ever throw it in the drains or on the road for the rain to wash it down. Alright, nice. And I think that is it. Oh, one more thing. I remember um, you were talking to somebody and saying that what we have done today is just a little, little part of what the bigger problem is. Just give me a, a sentence along that line. Yeah, what we have done to here today is just a little teeny beanie bit of what needs to be done because as you can see how long this stretch is um, it's almost impossible to connect and right along intertwining the mangroves is garbage so we have just made a little dent in what needs to be done and it is not just in Kingston but it's island-wide and that is why on Labor Day May 23rd we want to take it island-wide where all Scotia bankers across Jamaica can join with other groups to focus on coastal cleanup. It's very important that we do that. And then come September 17, we want to join with the rest of the world in International Coastal Cleanup Day. So we hope that by then, we would have really heightened the awareness of water pollution, what we're throwing into our um, drains, our rivers, and of course, the Caribbean Sea. United Nations Environment Program is here today and we're very happy that they're here because they're actually tabulating what we've collected. So in another few days we will know um, what we've collected, um, how much, what is the largest pollutant and as I said before I have no doubt that styrofoam is going to come out as number one.